Hjertelig velkommen tilbake, kjære internett, til en ny episode av Life is Strange. Nå trykker vi the left mouse button to buzz. Og nå skal vi sannsynligvis ta buss. Hvis ikke vi kanskje... Ja, ok, nå kutter vi rett til skolen. Kanskje. Eller noe. Det er så fin, sånn deilig belysning i spillet her. Det kan ikke være en god ting. Det har noe å gjøre med Kate. Eller Rachel. Dam. Blackwell Academy Transportation. Og nå er vi på bussen. Hva er dagens observasjon? Det er veldig sånn oppslukende det spillet her. Det synes jeg. Nei, og så kommer musikk. YouTube! Don't get on my case, det er Max sin skyld. Det er ikke jeg som setter på copyright av musikk. Men, men. Vi får satse på at det er innenfor. Vi får gjøre det. Ja, blub, blub, blub. Ja. Vi får, ja, vi håper det går bra. Men i hvert fall. Øhm. Ja, nå føler jeg veldig press for å si noe, for å snakke over den musikken som er garantert copyright. Det er mulig jeg legger inn noe annet her, som ikke er like distrahevende som den forrige linen. Men, men ja. Og vi kjører på buss, og det er kjempegøy. Litt sånn som bussen i Tønsberg, som jeg er drittlei av hver gang jeg må ta den, for jeg har sittet på den bussen så mange ganger. Flere ganger enn 31-bussen i Oslo, faktisk. Og det er ikke gøy, ass. Halvtime hjem, var det. Den gangen jeg bodde der. Så det. Men, øhm... Men, øh, ja. Og der er The Lighthouse. Det er der den stormen kommer. Er det ikke det? Det tror jeg det er. Anyways. Nå kan vi slutte å spille sang. Synes jeg. Og det er fuler. Det er Birdemic. Slutten på Birdemic. Er det noe vi skal møte Chloe, kanskje? Chloe. Dere som har sett Smallville, husker kanskje Chloe. Chloe var best i Smallville. Hun var den desidert beste i hele den serien. Two Whales Diner. Ja, det er derfor det var Two Whales. Det var ikke bare en rar ting å si. Ok. Old guy. The diner looks exactly the same. Women. She looks busy and stressed. Hello. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the bus. Are you blind? I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Okay, speak. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep, got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okay. You can have my lottery ticket. Buy your own. Um... No emoji running late. Grab a booth at diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. Okay. Oh, fish, fish, fishy man. Look. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Oh, save our bay. B. B. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Things were better during the war. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did good. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Prescott family. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. 
that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Back in my day, fish used to have wings and they'd come flying into our mouths and they were already fried when we started eating them. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware ugh, makes me feel 13 again. And then, fisherman? Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. He caught a lot of nuns. Speak. Hello there to you. Oi. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Yeah. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hello. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. You should hear the fisherman. He's got a crazy story about fish with wings. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. Hmm. Okay. What, uh... Joyce? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Hmm... Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Hmm. Nah. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so. All right. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. Uh, I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, it was pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Let's go to that vehicle. Would, um... Come away? Is that? What out of the sketchy parked vehicle? Out of the matter, I don't know. Camping or not. Alright. Shut up. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that! Stop! No barking. Uh. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Okay. Let me get you off Get right. Det er også her noe jeg missa i første episode, tror jeg. Jeg kan ikke huske han eller den bilen eller noen ting. Men, uh, ja. Hvis det er noe jeg glipper av deg, så skriv gjerne, gjerne en kommentar i internett om hva, hva jeg glipper av. Speak. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. 
And then I gotta deliver it right on back from my stomach to my pooping hole. What's up, Justin? Can't my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Var det han? Shouldn't you be taking photos? Var det han som Lars sa att Ina så på mig? Jag lurar på det. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Max. Han ligger faktiskt lite på mig. Han är lite blondare. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Okay. Ellers så vi ska inte följa oss, tror jag. Jag är inte fullt så baked, jag är inte fullt så allt det där egentligen. Speak. Vad han är. Hey Trevor. Hello Max. By the way, you saw me in the dorm. Creepy eyes. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. One hell of a drug. Uh, Booth, sit. Yes, we got it. Bare bare vente på Chloe. Chloe Prash. Og det var, så vidt jeg skjønte, mora til Chloe, det der. Kanskje? Hvis ikke jeg misforsto. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at two whales after all these years. Yes. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart, but I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. If you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway. I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean, why? What did Chloe tell you? Also, no, no. Svar du på at hun ble slått med hisse gud man? Det det går ikke ut. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. And she will be punished. Fuck you. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Fuck off. No excuse to hit her. Are you dumb? That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. No, he's not. I just want us to be a family soon, I guess. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, think you're now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Mmm. Also, Belgisk waffle. Uh, ser så godt ut, men det skuffer mig hver gang jeg spiser det. Så vi tar, vi tar det vanskelige valget. Bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. 
And now I'll start figuring out how to not be a crappy mom. Seriøstas. Sikke du tar... Uh, sikke du tar uh, domestic abuse alvorlig, så kan du gå og henge deg, altså. I love the delish anticipation of breakfast. Uh, Pixie, look. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. All right. Drink, look. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Gamle dager. Kostet billetten 25. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Get in my mouth. <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Order ready. Order ready. Okay. Da tror jeg vi fortsetter uh, Life is Strange i neste episode. No Så håper jeg dere liker den serien. Det er litt sånn, episode 2 har vært litt slow-paced uh, forløpig. Men jeg tror det kommer til å ta seg opp ganske snart. Så takk for mig og ha det bra! Do 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 subscribe